All right, so this is part three of the Sam's Club estimate for you ones that are just join, joining us now, kind of getting into this. This is an estimate that I'm doing from scratch where we started with um, uh, pulling up a, a job I received from a, a GC from my email, uh, starting on part one, uh, and then uh, we downloaded the plan, showed you how you don't have to reprint out anything. We can actually do our takeoffs from PDFs. Uh, uh, so we went into that and jumped into part two, kind of started doing some takeoffs, uh, moving around some numbers. Now we're on part three, and we're going to try to, uh, our goal is to try to complete this page here on here and, uh, and then move to some other sections, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, for you ones that's been following along with step with, with part one and two, welcome back. You can fast forward a lot of this straight on, straight into getting into the estimate. And uh, here we go. So let me share this with you here. Okay, so we have a lot of um, a lot already. Let me make sure. Hold on here. So I want to make sure it's constantly saved. And we already got a lot of things already plugged in here, okay? So what we're gonna what we're gonna do here is um we already got the overlay inputted here down by the subs. Um another thing, uh so striping got two striping. Another thing I like to add in here is a business license. Okay, I'm gonna create another drop down for this area. There's some areas here that that do not have a drop down uh, that I want to share too. Um, by the way, it, it, yeah. So here is a drop down where you will see all the labors that you see on the uh, labor rate page. You could just plug them in here, and if you notice their their rate of change here. Okay, so you just plug in whoever you want, and then that will be that, okay? All right, so um, we got the, uh, we, we, we put a, a number in for our subcontractors to grind and cap our area at four bucks a square foot. We also did striping at 45 cents a square foot. And we did seal coat at 33 cents a square foot. Now there, there, there may be other areas we have to do seal coating in and striping in. And then we will add that square footage into here as we move along to the bid, depending on what sheets we get to, okay? So, all right, so uh, let's go back to this sheet here. Going back to the plan sheet, this is what we came up with, okay? So I think we got everything covered here, okay? Got 13 covered, okay? So basically, we're just going to put some numbers to, to these, these line items, these activities that we have. These are what we call activities, right? So let's go back here. So, so if we go up here, oh, what I did was I was going to do something with business license one and um, do about uh, 280. Okay. So let's go up here. So we got supervision. Uh, we're going to come back to that and make sure we go. Okay, so we got demo of planners. And how many planners are we demoing, right? Let's, let's make sure we, we add that in there. So we're demoing one, two, three, four, five, six planners. We're demoing six of them. Oops. So we do oh. So we're demoing six planners. Demo of six planners. So we want to look at this here, okay? Um, and uh, let's put a square footage to this, okay? So we'll go out here. We'll go to this tool again, right? Footage. Uh, we'll do uh, measuring tool. Boom, and then we'll start 
calculating this stuff up here. Now we want to calculate this up here because we got to add concrete in here too, right? Okay, that's that. Then we're gonna do a demo here of this area. Oops, that's a little, that's not right. That's not, okay, okay get it right, Tyrone. Come on, get it right, buddy. You can, you can do better than that, okay? Uh, another area here, um, so, you know, demoing this area here, this area here is a little bit more room to play with, but um, also, too, you know, this area comes out a little bit, so we're going to add a little bit more square footage to this area because we got patch back that you have to do uh, just outside of that area there. Uh, so what we're going to do here is we're going to, um, we're going to, We're going to do a different measurement. We're going to do a, a so let's see here. Okay, so. Okay, so so basically, that's the area. Oh, oh, and these two, right? So I want to add a little bit more square footage. The reason why I did those like that, I want to add a little bit more square footage on it because you got the patch back or slot patching that you have to do with this here. So I wanted to make sure that I catch the entire part of this. Okay, so uh, we got these four areas, and um, once you demo them, right, um, a lot of times maybe part of it, you, you never know. Some of these planters could be A curves, and if they're A curves, then asphalt, is, asphalt outside of that planter is going to come out. So we want to factor in another two feet outside of this planter that we're going to uh, have to demo. Okay, so we'll do this here. So we're going to, let's see here, get rid of history. Let's see what you, you see here, okay. Okay, so we want to factor in a little bit more. So we got 42 by 13 so we'll say 14 by 15 right 14 so we want to add another two feet oh i'm sorry uh yeah 14 uh by uh 42 feet or 43 feet so we want to say 14 right 
And we want to add another two feet on either side. So 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So it's 18 feet, okay? That's what we want. We want 18 feet by, we got 43 feet. So we want to say 43, 44, 45, 46, 40, oh, 47, right? So 18 by 47 feet is 846 square feet. So we got 846 square feet, um, and it looks like there's, this other one's gonna be the same amount. It looks like it's pretty close. So we'll say 800 and, uh, 846 square feet. So we'll say 850 square feet, okay? So 850 square feet. So, I want to add it here too. So, Okay, total of 1,700 square feet. Okay, um, okay, then we got um, that planner. We got this area here, which is, which is, um, 55, so we're gonna say 56 square feet plus, okay, we'll say 56 plus 298 plus 300, plus 300 equals 356. So 356 for both walkthroughs. Two hundred and fifty six for both walkthroughs, okay? Oops. What was that number? 356? 356 square feet, okay? And then uh, we want to get <clears throat> these little bitty ones here, these little uh, diamond-shaped ones, right? So, uh, oh, you know what? I was going to add... Um, Let's see here. So what we're going to do here, we want to add an area onto here. So Okay. Oops. Okay, so I don't need it for that one, but I do would like to do it for this one. So I'm going to change that square footage a little bit to, uh, so this is say 10 by, so um, I just need to take this number 10, uh, so it's say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, so it'd be 14 times six equals 84 square feet. What do I have in here? Um, oops. So let's, let's make sure that, uh, so you say, uh, 
nine. One, three, three times six equals 55, 55, um, 55, 97. So I did that. I did 9.33 times um, uh, six feet, and I got one is 55, 98, and another one is 55. Uh, so, uh, so if you total up that, that's pretty close to that square footage. So what I'm trying to do is, so I'm going to say 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So I'm going to say 14 times 6 equals 84 plus the 300 over here plus 300 equals 384. So I just took this, this area here and this area here and I times it together. So I got 384 square feet. So I wanted to add some patchback room to that. So 384 square feet. So that's 384 square feet that I'm actually going to have to demo. Okay. Now I need to add these additional square footages to my actual full depth areas as well. You know, um, uh, um, is this a little bit of area? But I need to remember to add that to my full depth, right? Um, um, and I'll, I'll do that as well. Um, and what I usually do is I just have my pavers do it. I'll add that square footage to my sub paver and um, I'll factor that in there in his bed. That way, once he comes and do all that, I'll coordinate it all together. So we'll, uh, we'll bump, we'll add another square footage. We'll look at it, kind of guesstimate the square footage there and plug that number in. It's not a big, big deal, but we want to make sure we plug some of that, that, that in there. Okay, so uh, we can actually do that now. So I added another two feet here onto here. So two feet by six, uh, that's 12. So 24 square feet there. Another, uh, so it was 24 square feet there. Okay, so you got 24 plus another, um, um, I did another two feet by 42 feet, right? So that's 84 feet, right? 84. So 24, another 24. So I did uh, 42, so that's 43 times two equals, and I'll do one, two, one, two, three, four times four. So 134 times four is 536. 536. Um, 536. 536. Um, plus 24. 536 plus 24 equals 560, hold on, hold on, plus 560. So I can look at search on search speakers, even though we're watching Plus 560, okay. Um, and then uh, you want to add uh, 14 feet. So 14 by 2, which is 28, plus 28, um, 6, 56. Eight plus 56, let's add plus 56, equals 616 square feet, okay. Okay. Oh, let me tell this guy. Thank you. Hold on here. Thank you. Okay. 616 square feet. Now, that's going to be full depth, okay? Um, 
so I'm going to add that 606, 616 square feet to my, uh, my subcontractor, which is actually doing a grind and cap, right? So I'll, you know, it, it won't be exact measurement, but I'm okay with this. That's not a whole lot. 660, 616 square feet. So what I'll do here is 616 square feet. Find a cap, so I'll add that to this. 616 square feet, so 7560 plus 616 equals 8176. 8176, so we're done with that. That bumps it up to 30, 32. So um, that's that there, okay? Um, let's go with, uh, looking at this, let's jump to demo of planners, AC and three ball yards. Okay. So let's look at this here. We, we got to look at this. So we're going to, we're going to demo, we want to demo these walkthroughs, right? We're going to do this. Um, let me see if we got that in that, that section there. So we're going to demo planners, um, AC three ball. Okay. So let's, let's do this here. So what we're trying to figure out is how long it's going to take, how many people we need. Oh, another thing is this. Um, we have no haul off, right? We have no haul off to do on this job. They actually provide the dumpsters for this, uh, this material here, which is great, uh, but it takes time to get it to where you need to go to, and we may have to stockpile it. So they also put up a fence around this area here too as well, right? Uh, I never include a fence, always include Walmart, Walmart, which is the owner of Sam's Club, right? They don't allow any caution tape to be used. So you have to use orange fencing, okay? So we'll factor in some orange fencing around this entire perimeter. And that's what we'll do there. So let's do this here. So we will say, Okay, I'm just doing the total area here that how much um, orange, how much uh, orange um, fencing I need. Okay, so let's close this out. So the, now the deal here is to uh, we got the asphalt, we got the striping. Uh, we got the seal coat, small area of seal coat, and, and, and that's it. We're, we're pretty much good with that. So now we want to figure out how long is it going to take us to demo these areas here. We got to demo this planner here. We got, we got to demo this planner here. Uh, we got to demo this planner, this planner, and this planner, and this planner. So what I would use here is I would definitely, I never bring a backhoe out here. Always have a skister, you know. So I would factor in uh, a skister operator and I'll put um, three guys out here. I'll put three guys out here. Matter of fact, I'll put four guys out here and um, I'll put four guys out here. We'll put the uh, container here in the middle uh, another thing is what you will learn from the specs, I already know, is that you can't have a demo container. Uh, your demo container has to be five feet away from any fence, right? So any temporary fence or any fence period, your, your, your container has to be five feet, I think it's five or 10 feet away from it. So we'll just put the, so we don't have to travel for to, uh, to, to put this demo in. We'll put the container in the center here 
within this fenced area. So let's say we, um, let's go back here. Let's go back, right? And sometimes, you know what I'm saying, we already got this area too, right? We could look and say, man, you know, we can knock out this stuff a lot easier. Right? Majority of it is dirt, you know, that we're demoing out, right? Majority of it is really dirt. I mean, it's just a curb that you 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 have to uh be conscious of, right? And uh these little bitty trees here. Let's go down here and look at these trees here. See where it puts me at. See, these trees are not that big, you know. So um demo the trees. Let's just go here. Let's just do this here. So if you look here, I mean the, the planners here is not really that that much entail here. Uh these curves most likely will probably be a curve, so some of that asphalt will come up. Let's do this here. So uh planners here, we're gonna say we're gonna take uh I'm gonna put four guys on it. Uh, and I'm going to say, um, hmm, should I do saw cutting? I don't think so. I don't think I'm going to do saw cutting. Uh, we can saw cut ourselves. Let's do saw cutting. Let's do a, a third party saw cutter. Come out. Um, hmm. Okay, he'll come out and then we'll plug him in for uh, 1200. Okay. And I'll get a quote from my sub guy to, uh, well, I need a, actually I'm in Sacramento, so um, I need to factor in, um, I need to, I need to reach out to a subcontract, a sub, a salt cutting sub in that area figure out how much they're going to charge me for it. Okay. My sub number is, um, is different. So I just put a plug number there and that's one of the numbers that I will, uh, get a quote from. Okay. So, uh, demo of planners, I got four guys and I say, I'm going to spend course eight hours a day. And to demo that I'm going to say, We can get it done in um, in one day. We can demo that in one day, all of it, the ball yards. Now, we'll, uh, we're demoing it in one day. I'm um, going to put another person there. Because uh, what, what happens is, yeah, we should be fine. I think uh, eight hours, good, four guys. Um, and then we'll, we don't have to provide any demo. We don't have to dump anything, but we will be renting some equipment here, right? I don't know why this don't have lines in here. Sometimes I see this and I'm like, what, what the? This is going on here. Anyway, so let's put it up here. Now we're gonna look for a skit stir. Okay, so so it's Easter and um mm, so I'm gonna get one skister. I have it for um, one day there. Okay, uh, we'll put a breaker uh, there. All right. You can always come back and change it. You say, hey, you know what? 
I'm going to be held up, you know. I'm, I'm not going to do that. So I got a skister there with a breaker. It already comes with the bucket. Um, now, also, you got to do a delivery, right? You got to factor in the, uh, the insurance and other fees and the pickup, okay? So I factor that in there. Um, and that's really, that's it with that, that section that's there, you know, demo all those planners. I uh, got a saw cutter guy in there. Okay, so full depth AC, also full depth, uh, 1,400 square feet of ADA. So maybe I need to take out that 1660 and put that here. You know? Um, hmm. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out Full depth AC, also full depth of 1488 transition. Hmm. So I'm going to so I'm going to add the full depth plus the um, the 1400 square foot for the transition onto my subs bid. I'm gonna add that on there. Okay. I'm gonna add that onto there. So I'm gonna change this and I'm gonna remove it from that section. So plus the 1400, which is 950, 50, 9576, 9576. Okay. I'm climbing up there in those numbers there. And then also too, so uh, let me see here. So full depth AC also full depth 1400 square foot for ADA transition. So the full depth is what I'm also calculating is the full depth for um, the areas that I'm removing, right? Uh, which are, so I did the 1400, which is the the 39, the, what is the 39 to demo, right? So we'll just keep, we'll keep these the same, they're the same areas, right? So, so it's, um, 3,900 square feet times two, 7,800 square feet, okay? So I'm gonna add that to my pavers. You know what? I'm not, I'm gonna add it separately. Uh, I really am. Grind and overlay, say 3,900 square feet. I already took out the 14 for the transition, right? I just don't want to count for, I just don't want to have too much in there on my grind and overlay. You know, I'm going two inches. Uh, so I'm going to go full depth, four inches uh, on the um, on the 7,800 square feet. Let's see, and Three inches at three inches. Okay, so sorry, demoed everything. I'm gonna put a crew out there to put a crew out there to. Um, to pave the three inches of the 7,800 square feet. So I wanna figure out what is my tonnage there. So 78 times 0 0.006 equals times three inches equals, um, why is that so much? Was it 3,800 square feet? So we got 38, Hundred. 
times two, 76 times, so 76, not 78. Or well, 39, I'm sorry. 3,900 square feet times two is 78 times 0 0.006 equals times three inches is 140 tons times 10% waste is 154 tons of asphalt that I'm putting in that area. It's a lot of material there. Why is it so much? Let's see here. Let's do, uh, so it's uh, 42, 44, 44 times 2 is 18. Oh, wait a minute. So, oh, I'm sorry. Darn it. That 3,900 square feet was actually, this, this is why you need to be clear on your, your notes here. Okay. So that 3,900 square feet is uh, two inch, two inch grind. Okay, two inch grind only. Okay, that's two inch grind only, okay? Large planters is 850 each, so total of 1,700 square feet. So let me do that, 1,700 square feet. And then um, did I do the, the little diamond shapes? No. I'm in planters. Okay, so let's go back here. So they're uh, diamond planters mm, is, um, so they're seven, seven feet, eight, nine, nine by 10, no, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 11 by eight. So we're gonna do seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. So 11 by, and that one's eight, so we say nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 11 by 13, we're gonna go with that for both of them. So 143 feet, 143, uh, 143 square feet. Hundred forty three square feet each, right? And there's two of them, so 286 for uh, totaling total. Two eighty six per feet. Okay, so we got the uh, uh, so we got two areas here. We got the large planner, we got two eighty six plus the seventeen hundred that we have to do four depth on. Because we added the other square footage to our uh, grinding overlay, which is fine. It's not a whole lot, okay? Uh, but we got almost 2,000 square feet. So we got 1,986 square feet, okay? 19, 19, uh, uh, 1,986 square feet. Okay, we want to find out how much asphalt that is, okay? So it's 35 tons plus 10% waste is 39, so 40 tons. So it's 40 tons of material. It's actually. So it equals 40 tons, okay? So for 40 tons, um, I can uh, I can have um, let me see here. So forty tons of material um, in the area that we just have to really we don't really have to lay it. We just have to at least get it down to uh, two two inches. 
Okay, I put three inches there because it helps me on the factor side. So we got to get down to two inches because um, we're actually going to put two inches back. So we got to get to two to three inches because we're going to put one to two inches back. Depend on, oh, excuse me, depend on, um, depending on um, uh, where our 2% is at, right? Where we have to grade our 2% at, okay? So uh, it's 40 tons. That's a truck and transfer is what? 25 tons? Truck and transfer is either 22 or 25 tons. So let's say we need um, 25, 35. So let's see, we need two truck and transfers, okay? Uh, they'll come, dump it, dump, dump. Uh, we can do that in one day. I'll put four guys on that uh, eight hours one day, okay? Um, uh, I add one hour overtime just in case. Okay, because so I'm not sure they get done. So uh, to do that full depth, we need to add some equipment there, right? We're actually going to rake it by hand. So we're going to need uh, we're going to need the skister for another day, so we can move it around. We're also going to need a roller, right? Three to five ton roller. Okay. All right. We know in that delivery that that can be up there too. So we're going to need a roller. We don't have to do any headers or anything because everything is buttoned up to it. But we are going to need some, some, uh, uh, we are going to need some tack. Mm, let me see here. Maybe I got it under emotion. Um, <clears throat> we got a uh, tack that we're needing here. A lot of a lot of this list here is in alphabetical order, unless I added it toward the end here, which it most likely is. Tack. So that's a five-gallon bucket there. So I call for one. Just really don't need a whole lot. Um, and that's really that's it to, to pave that, right? So I, I got the roller. Um uh I'll show it here. Hold on here. Da, 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 da. So here, boom. Got the roller really there. Um oh, man. And that's the asphalt. And mind you, I took that 1400 off there. So we want to remove that there. Right, so total of 40 tons, okay? So we'll do that. Now base installation, right? So we got, um, let's figure out what is our base installation. Are you looking at these areas again? So we got a total of, um, what was that? Total of 1986 of full depth, 1986. So we got 1986 square feet. Equals 1986 square feet, right? Oops, 1986 square feet. Which uh, which I do like this here. I'll do 1986 times. I'll do a, uh, I do my concrete calculation. I'll do a um, uh, like I'm calculating concrete. So I will do 1986 times. Uh, we got to do four inches. Okay, so I will do 0.33 equals um, um, divided by 27 which will give me my cubic yards. So it's 24 cubic yards times 1.25 equals, uh, so I'll do 30 tons. Now, 
to verify that, I'm saying it's 30 tons times 1.1 is 33 tons. Uh, let's double check that. So what we'll do here is we'll, I'll just go to a website. Uh, I just usually type in um, how much class two base I need. And usually uh, you just Google it. Usually it'll bring you to a website that allow you to uh, calculate um, to calculate um, the tonnage that you need. Okay. So. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm calculating it up. Um, I got 19, what was my number? 19, 1986. Okay, let me see here. Four, 1986. So it says I need uh, actually 50 tons. So I was off by 20 tons. That's not good. Glad I double checked that. So it says I need 50 tons. So that's two truck and transfer, 50 tons. Um, oh, you know what also too, we need to uh, also make sure we count, we needed 40, 40 tons of a uh, hot mix. So we need to make sure we factor that in, 40 tons. Okay. Five, one, four, we need 40 tons of hot mix, zero, 40 tons. All right, so I got 40 tons of hot mix in there with my trucking, okay? Got my roller in there. Um, also, so I'm doing 50 tons. I just plugged that in there. So I'm gonna do 50 tons of base. Um, think we can get, I know we can get 50 tons of base in there in a day. Okay. Four guys, eight hours, one day. Okay. Now they have to provide the water, right? I'll bring my uh, hydrant hose and they'll just provide the water. And then I'll add another day on to my, uh, my three to five ton roller. So I'll add another day on to that, two days for that, right? And to be more competitive too as well, once you finish your estimate, or if you even know how long it's gonna take, let's say you have an idea, you can plug in a monthly rate in here. I got a monthly rate in here for the Skister, which are covering me for a month on that job, and I'll save more on uh, discharging and daily rates because the monthly rate you pay cheaper. So I uh, got my asphalt. Let's see. Let's jump to the next section here. Um, base here. Um, so I want to buy my base. I need 50 tons of base. Let's say four guys one day. Let's see if we can throw in some base in here. Base. 42, I need four, I need 50 tons, actually, 50 tons. Uh, 28 bucks. Actually, I'll pay uh, 16 bucks. I don't pay that much. Uh, that's 50 tons, 180. All right, that includes the trucking as well. Um, I'll just bring my uh, two inch holes. It's not a problem. 
All right, so what's next here? We got, okay, installation of concrete, pass-through, sidewalks, and curbs. All right, so mind you, uh, so you got to realize here, when you're doing concrete, curbs installation, how I group this, usually if I'm doing concrete, and you'll probably see it on my other concrete items, but this one here, I need to make sure I include um, uh, form setting, right? Setup, so I'm gonna include prep, right? Form setting, um, and then pouring the, 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 uh, the areas, areas as well, right? So I only have one Based one rate that I'm using, right? This lead man right here. I still keep my four guys out there. Uh, we'll form set and pour. So we'll do it. We'll do it uh, uh, eight hours, and we'll say it take us two days. Um, and the reason why I'm going to say it, it's it's going to take us two days because we should be able to form set that and pour it in one day. Uh, sometimes we have to get inspections depending on who's involved. Okay. So I'll leave that like that, and, um, and and if we're able to knock it out in one day, form set it one day, um, then then we'll do that. But I know sometimes my guys are not just that fast, and then you have other things going on as well, and um, and you, you just can't go there and only do that. So I'm going to factor in two days because I know usually from other past jobs, this is the way it has to go. Um, and on those curves. So let's figure out what type of, how much concrete we need on those, how much forms and concrete we need on those areas there. All right, so let me, let me close this up here. With all these windows open. Okay, so um, curves here, looks like we need, um, I'm gonna plug in the forms right now. Looks like we need uh, 10, 20, 30, 40, 40 feet of uh, forms, 40 feet. Um, and we're talking about two by sixes because we're doing six inch curves. So I need uh, 40 feet. Um, and then I need another probably. 40, another another 40 times two equals 80. And then I need, uh, I gotta build that other planner there. So I need to make sure I do that there. So let's do this here. Matter of fact, let me do this here. This is what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this here. This is how you're gonna find out you need what you need here. So boom, boom, boom. And then let's do this here. So I need, um, I know this is 10 feet, right? All right, got that measurement up there. So I know that's 10 and 10 is 40. So 10, 20, 30, 40. 50, 60, 70, 80, both sides here, 80. And then I need, um, let's see here, 80, 95, 110, plus another 110, actually 95, actually 14, So I need 80 plus, plus uh, 30, plus 30, plus another 30, because that's the other side too, plus another 30, and plus another, uh, that was 10, 20, plus another 20 feet, 160 feet. Let me see what else I need here, 160 feet. I don't think I'm forming up anything else though in this area here. So I need 160 feet of forms, right? So 160 feet of forms, uh, we we'll do by 20 feet. So divide that by 20, I need eight of them. 
eight 20 footers, two by sixes. Eight 20 footers, two by sixes. Um, eight two by sixes, 20 footers, eight two by sixes, 20 footers. Is 20 footers, eight two by six is 20 footers. Let's see, eight two by six is 20 footers. All right, here, I need eight of them, so I'll do nine just in case. I need, if I need eight. I got sections there. That's um, probably need. Um, I need stakes now. For now, stakes. Uh, I only the uh, twenty-four inch, fifty pack. We get two of them. Sometimes those bad boys be breaking. Um, I need rebar. So I need 160 feet of board. No. Cut that in half. You need 80 feet of board. So I need 80 feet of, uh, so I need eight sticks of two by four. I mean, eight sticks of uh, a, half inch re a half inch rebar. So let me see here. Three bar, eight eight twenty footers. Number fours each. We get ten of them. All right, so I got all that there. Okay, so I got my forms, my rebar. This is they require you to put rebar in the curves. Um, um, also, so let's see here. So let's figure out this concrete here. So concrete, so we got, we got, um, let's see here. We got the linear foot of curve, we got 10, 20, 20 feet there, then another 10 there, so 10, 20, another 20 there, plus another 20, plus another 20, plus another, uh, plus 20, plus uh, 30, plus 30 feet. Okay, because I'm going on this planter here. I got 15 here and 15 here, that's 30, plus another 10 on this side here, plus another 10. So it's 80 feet of curb. And I'll say uh, 80 feet of curb. And that's really it on that curb there. 80 feet of curb. Okay, so we got 80 feet of curb. Um, and uh, most likely, uh, I'll do a straight down curve, so I can do the measurement on that. If if it's an A curve or uh, if it's really a if it's an A curve, then I'll figure it out. If it's a curving gutter, I'll just go to a website. How much concrete I need for a curving gutter? I used to have a, a an app on my phone that tell me that. So I need 80 linear feet. Uh, the uh, the curves are uh, so the 80 linear feet wide. I'm 80 80 linear feet long times point. Uh, zero five times point five because they're uh, uh, six inches wide. Um, hold up, hold up here. Eighty feet. Let me figure out eighty feet times, and then they're about um, one point three times one point three three divided by twenty seven equals. 
two yards times 0.1.1. So I need uh, two and a half yards. So I need two and a half yards for the uh, for the curbs. Okay. Two and a half yards for curbs. Let's go ahead and do this here. Oh, plus. So I need two and a half for curbs. Six side. Need two and a half for curbs. But what we're going to do here is um, I think the other area is what, 56 square feet for that planner? For the, where the dome mats are going? Um, and this area over here, right? So you got um, um, this area here, and then you got two of those areas. So that's uh, what? What is this? 55, so uh, 56 square feet times two, 56 square feet times two. So it's 56 square feet times two. So 56 times two equals 112 uh, times, um, I do at six inches. I gotta put dome mass there. Uh, equals divided by 27 equals 1.1 times 1.1 equals. So I got uh, another uh, yard and a quarter there. So um, so a yard and a quarter there. Okay. So I got a yard and a quarter. So 375. So we do four yards, we do four yards that we're having come out and we have to pay for each yard that's not in the truck, okay? So uh, six yards there, 35 bucks. They also charge us um, two bucks, oh sucks, two bucks. I think it's uh, two bucks for uh, every minute over. Uh, we only have one truck, four yards, and we'll go over. Um, And there's um, 75 per load. One. Seventy five per load. Okay. So it's ten. Okay. Um, I'm also going to add a uh, filler, dirt. Okay, I want to add some, oh shucks, that's not what I want to do there. I want to add some filler dirt. I need to add filler dirt in there for that area that, um, that planter, uh, that uh, new planter area that I need to factor in, right? <laughs> this area here. So it's 15 by 10, right? So, oh, shucks. Uh, hmm, by 10, so 150 square feet of dirt, right? 150 square feet times um, six inches, because I got to put six, matter of fact, let's do uh, times seven inches, right? Or times eight inches, because we got to compact it somewhat. So times um, eight inches, uh, 67 equals divided by 27 equals uh, three times 1.25 equals, let's do dirt at five tons. I'll do dirt at five tons. Five tons. 14 bucks. I may get some dirt, free dirt. Might even be able to, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use that same dirt that I'm going to take out those planters. That's what I'll do. So, write a note here. Use dirt from other planters for new planter. So uh, that's what I'll do. I'll use dirt from the other planners for the new planner, and that's that's how we we'll do that, okay? Make sure that's noted, because my uh, foreman to get this here. Um, so concrete, we got in there. 
Um, um, so form setting, um, we'll do form setting one day, pour the next day. All right, so, um, oh, and then we'll do dome mats, right? Um, ADA signage, ADA signs, ball yards. Uh, let's see here. So we'll do dome mats. Uh, those dome mats, they, they, they like us to put the two foot there. So we'll do uh, two dome mats for each side. Matter of fact, let's look at that. So this last one, we had something different. Um, seven. Let's look to see what they say in here. Seven. Per detail nine, sheet nine. We're from three, three feet. So, let's see what they call them for. So they're not really calling for um they're not really calling for um They're not really calling for, sorry about that, I was looking at the TV. They're not really calling for um, what we actually need there. So I'm gonna go for four of them. Oops, that's not the right ones, because you gotta do surface. Um, I put 250. I usually pay two. Oh man, 135. Wow, I didn't think it looked dark out there. Um, um, I need two of them. Putting two of them there because I'm gonna cut them in half uh, for each side. So it'll be two by three on each side of that walkthrough. So I cut. I'll cut them in half and one will be used for each each walkthrough. Okay. So the dome mats are there. Um, another thing we gotta do is uh clean up, right? Just gotta factor in clean up our um so we're gonna do fence and fence installation and clean up. Install and take down and clean up. Okay, so we're going to factor that in. Uh, two guys, eight hours. Well, two guys to, um, to install and take down the uh, one day, uh, four hours. It's not that much. Um, plus to clean up, we'll do eight hours. Shouldn't be that that really, really that much. There yeah, really shouldn't. Um, it's a few hours to set up the fence. Okay. Really. Um, and then to clean up. And uh, let's see here. What else we got up here? Uh, we, we're going to install 14, 14 bollards with ADA signs plus eight signs only. Start with that. Let's start with the eight signs only. Copy, paste, boom. Um, copy, eight signs only, boom. And then so that'll be uh, installation of 14 bollards with ADA signs. So we'll do um, uh, we'll do all the signage together. So we'll have two guys do the signage. In eight hours. 
14, so they'll be there for six, six hours. You'd be amazed how long it takes people to, to do things. You know, that's another thing that I, I want to note here is that um, as uh, management, we always are underestimating on how, how long things take. Don't be fooled with it, okay? Uh, installation of 14 balliards. I know I can, oh, what happened to the demo of the balliards? Oh, I did, I included that here, right? Where did I, okay, demo plan and balliards. Balliards are easy. What I usually do with the balliards, I'll uh, hit them with the, um, I need to put the fence in there. Hold on here before I forget. I need to put fence, the fence in there. Orange fence. I don't even know if I got that in here. And this one here. No, I don't have the orange fence here, but what I'll do is I'll come here and uh, add it in here. So, snow fence. So, orange snow fence. Uh, let me run to Google real quick. I mean, yeah, Google. I'm in the Home Depot. Okay. Snow. So I'll run the Home Depot um, here and I'll find out how much it is. It's four, four feet by 100 feet. And it costs. Hmm. Come on, buddy. Yeah, so we do four feet by a hundred feet. We do the four foot by a hundred feet. It's twenty nine ninety seven. Twenty nine ninety seven. Okay, so it's twenty nine ninety seven. Okay. So it's twenty nine. 97. Now I'll put the exact, uh, nice. Oops. So, dang, the, why is it doing that? Okay. Four feet by 100 feet row. Okay. Four feet by 100 foot row. Okay. And I put the 29.97 in there because I already have the tax added on there. Okay. So no sense trying to bump it up and do that type of deal. Okay. So let's go here. So I need to go back to my sheet because I don't want to forget to add this in here. And and sometimes if you're going alone in this um, in your estimate, so let's say sometimes you're you're moving along and you're like trying to figure things out. You're like, hey man, what is you know? Sometimes you got to write notes down. Okay, uh, you write notes down. So I got a hundred. 59 feet, so I mean 149 feet, so 150 and uh, 109, so 150 plus 110 equals 260 square feet, comes in a 100 foot roll, right? So I need three rolls, I'm going to tack in four. You'd be surprised going to corners and adding extra feet. Matter of fact, uh, three, four, I'm going to do five of them. You'd be surprised um, at how, how much of that stuff you need. I'm gonna do five rows. Let's do five of them. So um, uh, most likely I'm going to do a delivery for that. 
So I got to factor in a delivery rate. Um, unless I have someone go over there and pick it up. I mean, unless I have, yeah, unless I have someone go over there and pick it up. But uh, delivery, huh? I don't have a delivery there, huh? Let's do this. Hmm. So in this sheet here, I don't see where I had a uh, delivery. There we go. Um, do one delivery here. Where we get it from there, it's pretty cheap. But um, okay, um, um, so um, I got the snow fence in there. Uh, we got the concrete in there. Let's see what else we need. Uh, fence taped up. So that, okay, so install 14 barriers with sign. So we did the sign installation of six hours, two guys, um, and they don't need much to, to do there. That's it. They can, they can do the 14 signs plus the additional um, uh, uh, 14 um, barriers, okay? So they'll do the 14 plus the eight, okay? The eight is already existing. You just need to remove the old and then put the new. Um, and uh, I did that for six hours and they probably still don't get it done. You'd be surprised. Hold on here. Okay. Um, I seventy seven. Twenty three. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Um, okay, so install a 14 barriers. I'll use this other line while I separated some guys there. I'm going to do the four guys and um, six I could do in a day, so it'll be two. Uh, so I'm gonna put two and a half days at eight hours, um, and then I'm going to factor in uh, two yards of concrete in there because you have to fill them up and fill the squares. Um, I'm actually gonna put four yards of concrete in there. So that's at four yards of concrete. Then we gotta add the posts, six sacks. So we're doing eight, so we change this to two, okay? So I added the concrete in there as well. So we almost had a full uh, uh, truck. And then I'm gonna add the posts. I think I may pull from another list to see about the post because I had uh I had the post on another bed here. Yeah, I'm gonna pull my post from another area, but let's go ahead and add it. Let's go ahead and add it. It's a um, two inch square, two, uh, two inch, two, it's galvanized. Um, they usually go about uh, 40 bucks a piece each. And they're um, 12 footers. And then, um, uh, bolts, four signs, 20 cents each. Okay, so we got that. We want to save that. It's getting pretty dark out there. Let's go back over here. So we need. Oops. So we need square two, 
We want to copy that and then pull up boats. So the ADA signs, uh, I think it's 14 plus, plus eight. So 22, 22 signs. Okay, I get 23 just in case someone damaged something. Uh, these peg wrap signs are different. Uh, we need the bollards. Come in 21, so it's need 14, you get three of them. You get uh, three of them, so three, three, six, nine, twelve. So I need three of them. Oh, one, two, three, six, nine, twelve, I need five of them. Okay, uh, maximizer bags. Uh, sometimes I throw in a, a few of those just in case we, we try to mix some stuff up by hand. Uh, with the signs, I need a 23, so I need uh, 46 bolts. 46, we'll just do, go ahead and do 50. Six. Six, we'll do 56. Uh, square tubing, we got uh, 14 that we need. 14, I'll get 14. Okay, let's go back up here. What do we have? All right, so we have that factor in. Um, so we're at 84,000 just for this section here of the grinding cap, the bollards, the equipment, and uh, delivery equipment, the materials we need. Um, now we need to do some per diem and change the supervisor hours as well, right? So we're going to be there uh, one day, two day. Oh, 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 hold up. One day. Let's change this around. Actually, one day, two days, two days. Uh, one day, and then eight hours. Change that around. One day. So we'll be there. Uh, one, two. Three, four, five, five, six, seven, seven days. We'll be there seven days. Uh, supervisor is usually there for an hour a day, to be honest with you. So uh, we'll be there for seven days, one hour each. Okay, um, so we're gonna be there seven days, one hour each. So I wanna add the supervisor, he needs a truck there, okay? Okay, seven days, truck, we need one, seven days, uh, one and um, about, 25 miles a day for seven days. Day is at 40 cents, actually 56 cents. Okay. Uh, this note here I put here, that was for uh, actual uh, U-Haul truck, something similar to that. So we want to go back here and we want to put, um, um, the hotel. The hotel is going to be seven days, right? Well, we need a hotel for the um, the supervisor, right? So seven days for him. And we're also going to pay him uh, per diem, so it's another seven there. But we got to factor in that for our guys as well, right? So we got, they're going to be that seven days we got four guys, okay? Four guys for seven days, right? Make this easy. So four guys for seven days. Um, so that's, we have to change this up. Four guys, seven days. Let's do some math real quick. So 
So what we're going to do here is we're going to do this. We're going to change this. So four guys, seven days. So 20 times four equals oh, 80 bucks. So 80 bucks. Oops. As a group, okay. Then we'll do this as a group too. So um, 20 bucks a day, I don't really feel that's good enough. We need um, 50 bucks a day per person. So 200, we'll do 200. It'll be 200 per day. They'll be there for seven days. And then um, we got four guys, then we only need two rooms. So it's 200 bucks a day for the hotel. We need that uh, seven days, okay? So that's how that works there, okay? Um, we also need to pay for drive time. Okay, so we'll pay one person's drive time. So, um, um, drive time, actually drive time will include up here, because that, that's where we should be putting it at. So drive time. So drive time, um, there'll be uh, one, one person, everybody driving in the same car, those four people. So one, and he'll get um, uh, for two days, and he'll get eight hours. So he'll get one day to drive up, one day to drive back. Um, a lot of times what you find is that person gets um, overtime, right? Uh, but I'm not going to factor in overtime. I'm actually going to uh, make them stay up there an extra day. And if they choose to drive back that same day they finish work, then that's on them. But I'm going to let them know the first day you drive up, of course, you won't be working. It'll be a, a, a full day. And then the next day, or the, the, the end, the last day, you won't be uh, driving at the end of work. you actually wait one more day. Um, and then, uh, so that means that, so that does mean I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to add an extra day to the hotel, right? Cause you got to check out the next day. So I'll leave it there for a supervisor. I'll do, uh, eight and eight. Okay. So, all right. So, um, my total number is ninety grand. Just, just for that. So, basically, that's how you do that number there. Okay. Um, um, now, ninety grand is based on my three percent overhead and my ten percent profit. Now, with this estimate sheet, I'm able to go here and change that, okay? Don't mind this 135 number because there's other sheets in here that that's, that is calculating. Uh, you notice here, you come up you come up here, okay? Uh, these, these sections here at the top here, ask everything broke, has everything broke down that you added in on your bid sheet? See, grinding old a grease interceptor, concrete sidewalk and ADA, concrete ramps, concrete handrail, and it breaks down each of these areas here. 
But what I wanted to show you here is actually this section here. So say I don't want to do overhead at 10%. I want to do overhead at 5%. Uh, and I want to do a 20% a, a markup, okay? So if I go here, data flow throughout the entire entire bid. So that turns into 100 grand. So if I look over here, I'm actually, uh, my, my overhead percentage, I'm making 4,000, right? And then um, I'm making 20% profit, which is 16,000. Um, and, uh, and, and that's what I'm making out of these seven days that they're, that they're going to be there, but it's a hundred thousand dollar worth of work. Right. So, um, I'll let this sit for a while. Um, and then I'll continue to work on the other areas. I'll try to post those other areas with it not being so long and maybe kind of cut and paste, not cut and paste, but kind of edit it to where we kind of zoom in on, uh, keep, key portions but here I just wanted to show you some raw footage of actually you know what it takes to actually bid on sections of work and how we put it together and how you determine uh, uh, um, you know what is the final cost for this section and you can't be afraid to, to charge you can't be afraid to to uh, to have what it takes to um, to do this here so also too um, I need to pay for some fuel right for that that person driving up so i'll do uh two vehicles uh and i'll do uh 80 miles um and uh and i'll i'll just do two days on that right so uh 213 uh matter of fact let's go back here let's 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 do this let's leave that there for my superintendent and then i'm going to go ahead and add add in Maybe down here, I'll add in uh, um, fuel for uh, um, foreman vehicle. Vehicle, uh, two days. And I'll give them 200, okay? Give them 200. Give them 100 to drive up, 100 to drive back, okay? Um, not he can take one of our, our vehicles, okay? Um, and really, that's it there. So we had 101, 101 for all that work there. I'll let this sit and kind of go over it and, and make sure I got everything covered. And uh, just hope you learned a lot from this. Hope you gain uh, some information here. Um, and uh, let me know in your comments what you think about this. And if you lasted all the way through here, and you got to this point, um, uh, let me know. Um, let me know your thoughts. Let me know how you feel. And, um, and uh, um, I'll uh, try to send you something over if you send me an email to let me know that you have gotten through part one, part two, and part three. Uh, it's quite a bit of time uh, in this. And 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 it, it, for a job like this, uh, it should definitely go a lot quicker. Uh, the other areas are going to be uh, quicker too because they're just sidewalk, ADA dome mats really. Uh, so I will say this was the most complicated uh, area of this bid here, and this bid can easily um, uh, be redefined and 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 really kind of just squeeze together a little bit more and massage a little bit more and bring that bring that number down even more. You know, I can bring that number down even more, kind of make it a little bit tighter, kind of mesh, you know, uh, days together where the guys are working you know, a few hours here and the rest of the day they'll be doing this and things like that. So keeping that into mind and really redefining your bid and tweaking it and tweaking it, but also keeping conscious of time frames. Okay. So I'll let you go with that. Hopefully you learned a lot. My construction entrepreneurs, I'll bring you more classes. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. I'm trying to reach a hundred subscribers. I think I'm 23 short. So I'll be posting this pretty quick here. Uh, remember, hustle hard, then hustle harder. Thanks for all your time and your attention. Appreciate you.
See you on the next.